Hi, I'm Father Jim Martin. This month, as you may know, we were planning to have a conference at Fordham University called Outreach 2020 for people who minister to LGBTQ Catholics. We were all ready to go with an amazing lineup of keynote speakers and panelists and topics, as well as the support of Cardinal Dolan, the local Jesuit provincial, and the president of Fordham University. Well, we had to postpone the conference until next year because of COVID-19. But with all these amazing speakers, we wanted to do something special for this month when the conference would have happened and for Pride Month to help encourage our LGBTQ Catholic friends. So I'm happy to present a new video which features Catholic leaders speaking to LGBTQ Catholics and those who minister with them. This video is just a trailer for the real one, the longer one. And we have an archbishop, a bishop, priests, women and men in religious orders, theologians, scholars, activists, parents, teachers, and students from a wide variety of backgrounds. And they all have something important to say to you. And before you hear from them, I'd like to say something to my LGBTQ friends. Never forget that God created you, that the Holy Spirit is with you, and that Jesus is on your side. I love that line from Psalm 139, which says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And you are wonderfully made by God. I hope to be able to tell you that in person next year at Outreach 2021. In the meantime, here's a sample of what some of our friends have to say to you. And don't forget to watch the longer version. It's great. God bless you. The stone that has been rejected has become the cornerstone, and it is marvelous in God's eyes. And I think of LGBT Catholics as that, as the cornerstone to our church. Why? Because they're courageous, they're authentic. They fight for justice and inclusivity. They create safe spaces for those who are marginalized. I've been ministering among the transgender community across the country for 21 years. It has been the greatest honor and privilege of my life to walk with you on your sacred journey and to be a witness to the ways that God has loved you and acted in your lives for you, through you, to you. Jesus' parable of the Good Shepherd makes it abundantly clear that God loves all of us and that each of us has value and dignity as a beloved and unrepeatable child of God. LGBT people are loved by God. The church is still learning to love us. God loves us all, he said. The church is still learning to love you. But the more we understand the gospel, the more we understand what it really is to build a church, the more you and I, we are sons and daughters within this reality, not second-class citizens. I want you to know how much I admire your journey of faith and your journey to integrity and authenticity. I know that very often it's a struggle and I admire your perseverance to remain faithful to your Catholic identity and to be faithful to who you are. And what I would hope for the LGBT Catholic community is that they would understand that they are a gift and blessing to all of us and they deserve to be respected, accepted, and loved unconditionally. I share with you the words that I so wanted to hear in my own life while I was coming to terms with my sexuality. You are loved. You are a beloved child of God. You are a precious child of God. You are okay just the way that God made you. Be who you are, bring your gifts into the world, and let your light shine for all to see. So as we enter this pride, I want to tell you that you, we, we are beloved children of God. You, me, we are loved, we are loving, we are lovable. God made us that way. We bear God's image and imprint. And what I've learned, I think, from my uh, ministry to the LGBT community is that we're really all much the same. We're all people who are trying to learn how to love each other, learn to do what is right, understand the gospel. During this time, it's vital that we have open hearts both for ourselves and for other people in our lives. And most importantly, remember that we, all of us, are God's chosen ones. God knows us, God loves us, and we are her beloved children. I thank God every day for these amazing people that have brought meaning into my life.
I think that as Catholics, there are many reasons to think that we shouldn't be uh, proud of who we are. But I hope that you know that at the dawn of this Pride Month, you are beautiful. You are made in God's image. The families that we create, whether they um, are families of origin or families that we choose, are beautiful. 